In this video, I'll show you how to create a UDF that reads out a range of values. So to do this, I'm using an example here where I've got some Y data points and some X data points. And then I've got my test UDF that reads in those Y values and those X values. And then it does a calculation and reads out a whole series of values. And if I just delete that for a moment, you'll see they all disappear. But if I paste it back in, it does the calculation for me and just automatically reads out this big range of values. OK, so to show you what's going on with this on the developer tab, we're going to click Visual Basic and look at module one. So it's the usual sorts of code. So we've got function, test UDF, open brackets. Then I need to read in my X values and I'm going to call that X range, comma Y range for my Y values. I then declare some variables that I'm going to use. The next thing to do is to convert these input ranges to variant arrays. So that's what this code does. I'm then going to determine the size of these arrays. So endpoints will be for the number of X values and endpoints for the number of Y values. And the way this code is set up, the X values need to be in a column and the Y values need to be in a row. So when this function is actually implemented in the spreadsheet, it needs to follow that convention. I'm now going to dimension the output array. So that's referred to as res, which is short for result. So I've got the term redim uh, res, and then we've got uh, one to endpoints for one dimension of this. So this is going down in columns, and then one to endpoints that will go across the rows. And then to calculate all the values, I'm going to use two for loops. So for i equals one to endpoints and for j equals one to m points, res ij equals range x range i comma one times y range uh, one comma j. So it's just going to multiply those values together. Uh, we've got next j, next i, and then the test UDF just reads out uh, the result. So test UDF equals res. End function. Uh, for more information about uh, array dimensions, you can see this web link here. I will include that in the description. And also, if you want to download this spreadsheet, I will leave a link in the description as well. OK, so we'll close this, close the VBA and just come back to this again, just to show you one more time equals test UDF, read in the X values, read in the Y values. And that then just calculates very simple calculation. It's just X times Y. Um, it's just a trivial example just to show you how you can read out multiple values. So I hope you found that as a useful starting point for your own UDF project. Uh, please remember to like, comment and subscribe and thanks very much for watching.